Hi! More quilts. I'm still making them from the homeless shelter. This one, somebody didn't let me pick a batch of fabric from their quilt, fabric collection. And I made 26 quilts. I'm only showing you a handful. And then we have this one. It was fun on a big piece how to figure out to make it a quilt to make it fun for the kids. Okay. Okay, then this. Wait, where am I? Okay, I'll go this one. This was fun fabric and just what to do with it. I figured a kid would get a kick out of that one. Okay. Now I have the one here. This is just a simple quilt and it was fun. And thank you again, the person who gave me the materials. She's looking, I showed her pictures of them already. Then from this one, this is what to do with my leftovers. I have fun trying to figure out a quilt to do with the leftovers after I'm done. Okay, now. These three here, you're going to take a picture, are the same pattern, but disappear in nine patch. But I like how it looks so different with the same pattern. It's fun to try to do that. Then we're going to go by the back door next. This is made from fat quarters. I changed the pattern a little bit with the black fabric in the six squares. When you put the half and a half, it makes it look like it floats and you don't have to worry about my seams not matching. So that became kind of fun. Okay, and now this, I got some strips and I was like, okay, what do I do with them? I only had so many. So I made this one. Go to the next one. Okay. Then this, I saw the fabric. It was already quilted, this and that, but I was like, I don't want to cut either or sh cover them up. So I did it like this. And you still saw this nice fabric, and I had fun doing it. The only thing is I had to do this so it wouldn't have a seam showing like a binding sort of flipping. So then the same idea I copied on this one. It's like, okay, it'll work for that one, too. And that was fun to do. Because sometimes you don't want to always hide the back. Okay. Now, these were ducks. And I had a fun time. When I pulled my colors for it, this blue wasn't in there. These two colors. But it blended, so when I put the blue as that little bit of border, you could work with it. Otherwise, they would have blended. Now, we're going to look at the cats. That was another fun one. The fabrics just seemed to go, but it needed something, so the black worked good on that. Then we're going to go over to the bingo one. Uh, this I had fun. It's bingo, and the kids and the lady at the shelter can figure out the bingo calls. And the peace sign sort of just worked with the rest of it, so I had fun doing that one. Then we're going to go to that one. That one, next one was what do you do when you don't want to cut up so much? So I just placed it on the design all and fiddled. And then since I needed a little bit bigger and I ran out of material, the ABCs went on the top and the bottom. I did a dark border because I try not to do a light color edge. Now we're going to go to what happens when you have scraps and you don't know what to do with them. Well, in this case, I just started sewing them together and then those dogs were cute but I didn't want to cut them up so it worked great that way and it's all 8 inch high strips or 8 inch high fabric and that was fun. Then we bounced off that idea. I had oodles and oodles of, oh sorry wait, green. Then same idea as the dogs, I had a bunch of greens so I did the same idea. It was fun, and that way when I did it not squares, I didn't have to keep cutting. I'd just keep adding until the length. Now, I have oodles and oodles of blue fabric. What do I do with the scraps? So this is what I did with them. I was like, 
They're too cute, too much blue to give away or throw away, so that. And then I have more blue, so I figured, what do I do? Okay. Then after I use them for this, the next step is thread cycle. I bring them to a thrift store that'll accept it, and they sell it to a place that reuses it. It's off my list, and it gets reused instead of in the trash. Next year, next time, I'll show you what I did with my heart fabric and how much of that I've been going through.